We've grown in personal income here in Wisconsin while he's been governor. Uh, the jobs are growing. All those good indicators are happening. That's what we got to focus our time on uh, uh, instead of getting all political about minimum wage or any other issue. By raising the minimum wage, we put more money into our economy because that money is going to get spent. We reduce the budgets, uh, whether it's federal or state, in terms of uh, public assistance, and people are better able to support themselves. Governor Walker says his policies have and will continue to create more jobs, thereby raising all ships. Burke says his policies have failed Wisconsin and low-income workers need a raise. One issue Governor Walker has not sidestepped is his position on the minimum wage, opposing a raise and even going so far as to say it doesn't serve a purpose earlier this week. Mary Burke couldn't disagree more, wanting to raise it to $10.10 an hour. I support it because it's the right thing to do. It's what's going to help grow our economy. It makes perfect sense, common sense, that uh, people who are earning $7.25 an hour aren't able to support themselves without government assistance. But Republicans insist Burke has it backwards, that what workers want is more opportunity. We've grown in personal income here in Wisconsin while he's been governor. Uh, the jobs are growing. All those good indicators are happening. That's what we got to focus our time on uh, uh, instead of getting all political about minimum wage or any other issue. By raising the minimum wage, we put more money into our economy because that money is going to get spent. We reduce the budgets, uh, whether it's federal or state, in terms of uh, public assistance, and people are better able to support themselves. Every poll out there shows a majority of Wisconsin voters agree with Burke, but not as many support her candidacy. She has to hope that will change. I mean, she needs that to win, and the numbers show that it's not going to happen. Brian Schimming being a bit presumptuous there. The latest Marquette Law School poll shows the race is tied, and while Governor Walker does still have a lead if you average out all of the most recent polls, it is less than 1%. This is now the closest gubernatorial election in the country.